decision to have a child should not be a matter to be decided by the male-dominated legislature. The 1960s and 70s ushered in big changes for women in America. From family life to the workplace to reproductive rights, there was a charge for change known as the women's rights movement. But long before then came the fight for women's suffrage, which granted American women the right to vote in 1919. That movement, led by Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton, paved the way for the second wave of feminism in the 60s and 70s. In 1960, family planning was transformed as the FDA approved birth control pills for contraceptive use, opening a new chapter for the career women. About three years later, at the urging of Esther Peterson, President John F. Kennedy signed the Equal Pay Act. Also that year, Betty Friedan published The Feminine Mystique, which documented what she saw as the oppression of middle-class women. We're all housewives when you, you know, in the beginning and the end, although we have to be much more than that in the world now. By the 1970s, women of all ages, races, and backgrounds had joined in the fight for equality. Gloria Steinem campaigned for a constitutional amendment to guarantee equal rights for women. And in 1972, Congress passed the Equal Rights Amendment. Hey, what do you say? Though the amendment was never ratified, the following year the Supreme Court would make a decision that would have a profound effect on the lives of American women. In the landmark case Roe v. Wade, the High Court ruled that a woman has a constitutional right to choose to have an abortion. Abortion services were made safer and more accessible to women after the ruling, which would face repeated challenges in later years. Although Roe v. Wade was decided in 1973, the fight over abortion rights and women's equality continued to this day in the U.S. and around the world. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.